But do we understand that we were given gifts in everything that God has given us? So it was made for us. The law was made for us. We weren't made for the law. Here's what I mean. God didn't create the law and said, now you go fit into that. God knew our needs. He knew his desires. He knew his plans. And he made a law to point us to the grace that we would receive in the Messiah. And so there's this understanding that we are not bound to it because this is what it is. He made it for us to show us who he is so that he could do in us what he's always desired to do. Sabbath wasn't something that God made and then said, now you go keep it. It's something that God gave to us. Because he knew how he made up. What does, what does this mean? It means that Sabbath isn't a rule for us to follow. It's a gift that we've been given. And before we even go much further into this, let me just be clear about this also. Sabbath is not go about going to church. That's not what Sabbath is. When we, we now go to church because it's Sabbath. And please, I hope you know this. Sunday is not Sabbath. Sabbath is sundown on Friday evening to sundown on Saturday evening. That is the Sabbath that God established and that has never changed. And so Sabbath is not when you go to church. Sabbath is a specific day with a specific purpose. It's not a day of public or corporate worship. It's a day of rest as worship. It's a day to remember the goodness of God, to depend upon the care of God, and to rejoice in the love of God. Think about what it was. On the seventh day, close your business. On the seventh day, don't go to your fields. On the seventh day, don't work your animals. In the seventh day, don't work for yourself, but trust that I, the Lord, am working for you. Sabbath was God reminding us that he's in control and that we are in his hands. It's that reminding us that he is our provider and our protector, that he is our defender and our encourager, that even though we were created to partner with him in his work, he is the one who takes care of us. Some plant, some water, but God gives the increase. I understand that the context of that was about the gospel, but the gospel follows the laws that God made for physical world to show us spiritual truth. And so the reality is, no matter what your job is, you may plant and you may water, but your job, whatever it is, will only increase if God increases it. And so it's not up to us. It's always up to him. And so we don't have to try harder and work smarter or put in more hours or give more effort. We have to trust his heart. Because if we trust his heart, we'll obey him. If we trust his heart, we'll walk in his spirit. If we trust his heart, we'll work in his spirit. Yes. And he will accomplish whatever he desires. Sabbath is about remembering to be dependent upon God, to cast all of our cares on him, because he cares for us. 